situation where I said something about my bags was the reason why I got mistreated the entire tour after that. Because she's the type of person who doesn't like to be set. She doesn't want anything said to her. She feels too big. She feels too highly. Cleo Trapa recently took to TikTok to air out her grievances with Ice Spice, accusing the rising rap star of being a terrible friend and host during their time together on the Y2K tour. But what exactly is going on behind the scenes that led to this public fallout? In a TikTok video that quickly went viral, Cleo Trapa laid out the reasons for her falling out with Ice Spice. According to Cleo, the drama began when she was invited to join Ice Spice on her Y2K tour. But she told me, don't leave your bags at the venue. You might need some. You don't leave your bags at the hotel. You might need something in it. And now we're at the venue and I do need something in the suitcase. Like I had a wardrobe malfunction. Like she said, I probably would have. That's that. She cursed me. I put my bag next to her 10 bags and the big black dresser. And yeah, I'm thinking everything is going to be moved like back into the truck and we could you know, leave, go back to the hotel. My bag was still there. All her bags was gone. I'm just like, why would somebody just leave my bag? I asked the security, I'm like, can you take my bag? He said, no. I was like, what the fuck? But I feel like she could have simply said to the security, like, take Cleo's bag. Don't forget Cleo's bag. But I got a sense that she just wanted me to struggle. What I didn't know, which I later learned after bringing up everything I went through to her, I learned that this initially it seemed like an exciting opportunity, but things quickly took a turn for the worse. Cleo claims that Ice Spice's behavior during the tour made her feel like she was being treated as inferior, as though Ice Spice believed she was above everyone else, including her supposed friends. One of the key points of contention that Cleo highlighted was the lack of support she received from Ice Spice's team. Cleo mentioned that although she was invited on tour, she wasn't allowed to bring anyone with her for support. After that situation that had happened um, with her ex-best friend exposing her, it's kind of like sick too, because why do you think everybody's jealous of you? I didn't even know that she was mad at me. She's just in messages talking about me. I thinking that a lot of the things that Ice was doing was calculated. Why well, I kept thinking that like, she was trying to make it up for being like caught being fake. It's like every time she's like inviting me out, cause we never chilled on some like chill shit, bro. Like it was never like there's some chill. It was always like in the blogs the next day. Like what? This girl kind of uses me for her rollouts. I made a flyer announcing that I was gonna be coming on tour with her. It did not even get reposted. It didn't even get a comment or a like, and she was tagged in it. Um, the bill. It didn't even have my name on it. Like, just about nobody knew I was coming on tour. It was like a special guest. Like, she didn't even, like, shine any sort of, like, her own light on me. This left her in a vulnerable position, especially when she needed help with her bags and other personal matters. According to Cleo, despite being in a difficult situation, Ice Spice's team did not offer her the assistance she needed, which only added to her feelings of being mistreated and undervalued. Cleo's accusations didn't stop there. She also implied that Ice Spice's rise to fame might have gone to her head, leading to a change in behavior. Cleo suggested that Ice Spice was no longer the down-to-earth person she once knew and that her attitude had shifted as she gained more popularity. So the ending of July, I get a call from Ice um, very early in the morning. Cleo, come on tour with me. I miss you. Come. And I'm just like, girl, I'm not about to come on tour with you and watch you perform all month. Like, I got a nigga. <laughs> I got stuff that I can be doing. I can be getting money. I have opportunities in New York. He's like, no. I want you to perform, and I gag. You want me to perform? She ain't never, ever, ever, ever broke me out on stage. I was like, oh, wait, okay. Like, like, I guess she's really trying to make up for that fake shit that got exposed, like, a month ago. And I checked her about that shit, and even for her to apologize was like pulling teeth. Like, girl, you got caught calling your friend jealous for no fucking reason. And her excuse was that, I didn't speak up when I was asked if she was Nigerian. Like, and she said that you could have at least said I was black. Like, girl, I didn't even know you. It must be clearing up every time somebody's asking about you being black, Nigerian. Like, that's, n that's not my role. These claims resonated with many people online, with some fans agreeing that Ice Spice's fame might be affecting her relationships. 
However, Ice Spice wasn't going to let these accusations slide without a response. She took to social media to address the situation, choosing to do so in a public forum by participating in a Twitter space. During this live session, Ice Spice shared her side of the story, defending her actions and providing context for the accusations being thrown at her. Y'all put in laughing faces, y'all know <laughs> Y'all know this is not funny. Crashing out is sad, you guys. Like the scary part of fame, honestly, is the moment that somebody feels like they can no longer use your platform or like they're not getting exactly what they want out of a situation the way that they want it you know what i mean it's like that's when they decide to crash out every single time like i'm noticing a pattern bro and the shit is sad because i genuinely was trying to help her like I'm like, yo, do you want to just come on this tour? You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just, like, join. Like, mad last-minute type shit. What had actually happened is that we added another tour bus. So I'm like, now we have extra room. We have extra bunks. So I'm like, oh, let me see if Cleo wants to come. Feel me? So she could do, like, her songs and stuff like that. But... That's what the fuck I get for trying to be a good person. It's whatever, bro. Honestly, like, you know, that's not going to stop me from still trying to be a good person. Like, I'm going to always help the next person out. Like, and that's really my fault for real, because whatever, though. But to say, like, just to leave out so many details is crazy. Like, how you not going to tell the people, bitch, we was on them rides at the theme park screaming our vocal cords out like to the point where the next day it was hard to perform like bitch we was having fun so for you to try to sit here and complain about a chicken salad it's like you never came to me talking about a chicken salad what are you really talking about right now you gonna send me a whole essay after tour like you just gonna get off the bus i don't even know you got off the bus and you gonna send me an essay with a with an intro bodies and a conclusion like and you want me to try to like analyze this shit and figure out how I'm wrong when all I did was was share my stage with you when I didn't even have to do that. You got less than 10,000 listeners and I'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled like you thinking that my my like my people's that work for me is supposed to work for you too. Like that's so crazy to me like how I'm in the shower, you gon' you gon' barge in while I'm butt ass naked, trying to press me about some bags that you gotta carry some bags. What? Like, nah, that's that shit, bro. But that's all I could do, y'all. All I could do is sigh about it, cause it's just like what can you do bro it's like damn crash outs and they going on rants bro crash outs and they going on rants but fuck it though at the end of the day it's whatever bro like this shit comes with it you know like y'all see clearly this that this this will come with it bro right so fuck it but the whole thing that's blowing me right now is like talking about some dark energy trying to compare a tour bus to a slave ship like what are you talking about right now what that is crazy to me bro that's so crazy to me like you really gonna be friends with somebody for two years but the whole time you feel like they soulless and dark like you sound dumb as hell bitch if anything we both need saving like what the fuck are you talking about bro like we was dead ass at the we was at the movie theaters we was siphon bitch you not gonna tell the people how we was at an italian restaurant and you ate so much fucking food you fucking vacuum that the server was like where did the food go like stop it right now you talking about some she ain't let me to the back of her room on her tour bus she had this big ass room bitch can i play with my pussy one time in my bed one time like damn you want to sleep in my bed every day that's crazy to me anyways yeah i'm about to actually go to sleep for real this time but i'm about to announce the the europe tour dates because for me the shit the shit go on bro regardless the shit is still gonna go on that's the gag so tomorrow i will 
most likely. She expressed that she had done everything she could to make Cleotropa comfortable during the tour and that any misunderstandings were unfortunate but not intentional. The public reaction to this drama has been mixed, with fans divided on the issue. Some have sided with Cleotropa, believing that her concerns are valid and that Ice Spice's behavior might indeed reflect an inflated sense of self-importance. These fans argue that fame can often change people, leading them to treat those around them differently. On the other hand, others believe that Cleotropa might be exaggerating the situation or possibly seeking attention by airing her grievances so publicly. Comments and discussions across various social media platforms reflect this division. Some people express disappointment in Ice Spice, criticizing her for what they perceive as diva-like behavior. Others question the decision to invite Cleo Trapper on tour if she wasn't going to be treated with respect and supported as a friend. On the flip side, there are those who think Cleo Trapper might be overreacting, suggesting that her claims could be an attempt to capitalize on the drama to gain more attention for herself. As the drama continued to unfold, more people tuned into the Twitter space to hear Ice Spice's side of the story. The session, which attracted hundreds of listeners, became a key moment in the ongoing feud. Ice Spice stood by her actions, reiterating that she had tried her best to be a good host and friend, despite the challenges that come with touring. This fallout between Cleo Trapa and Ice Spice serves as a reminder of how quickly friendships can deteriorate under the pressure of fame and success. As both artists continue to grow in their careers, this incident raises questions about the sustainability of their relationships and whether they will be able to reconcile after such a public dispute. What do you think really happened between Cleo Trapa and Ice Spice? Are you Team Cleo or Team Ice? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates on the latest celebrity drama.